Hi, my name is Matt Corcoran, and in this video I'm going to show you how I created the leather for this bracer. So, let's get started. Okay, now that we have our awesome stitches, we're going to need to make this bracer look like leather. So there's a couple things you're going to need to create beforehand, and that is a tiled leather texture. And I found this at cgtextures.com. And I've already gone into Photoshop and made it tileable. So you can just use the offset filter inside Photoshop and paint it so that it becomes tileable. And the other one that you're going to need for detail is some sort of alpha map. And here you can see that there's gray around it. And that means that it won't affect the model. And then the white and the slight gray is going to push into the model. With the leather bracer, let's open up the UVs and make sure that it's UV'd. So we're going to clone and hit flatten. So here you can see I've already flattened out the UVs and I had a few things, other parts of the model in here which are not part of the bracer so that's why it's only using part of it. So it's really important to make sure it's UV'd. So I'll unflatten that and go back to our model. Okay, so now that we've made sure we have some UVs, let's go ahead and subdivide this a couple times until it looks smooth. And let's scrub down to surface and select noise. And here inside noise, we're going to want to select UV, so that's using our UVs. And then on this little alpha button down here, click on that and select the tiled leather map that you've already created. And then let's start adjusting some of these settings to make it look nicer. So let's turn the noise scale down a little bit. And turn the alpha scale down a little bit to maybe about 0.5. And let's turn this magnify a little bit up. And here you can see the leather right now is pointing inwards and we're going to want it to stick outwards so by adjusting the strength to be a positive number it will pop out. That's a little much. Let's make it a little stronger. Let's make it point zero zero two. Looks good. And then let's adjust this basic noise. And the lower you make this, the more it looks like the alpha map that you've created. So you can see here if I turn this up, what's happening to it. So let's turn this down. And another cool thing you can do is add a little bit of color to the, the cracks inside the leather. And you can play around with these settings to see what, what kind of results you can get. So here I've just added a little bit of dirt in between all the cracks. So let's hit OK. And now you can see that it's been applied to our model. And the cool thing is too is you can keep working on this model and this is just the surface noise right now. And if you open up surface noise back up you can actually save this out for later and then reopen it. And you can also copy it if you have other parts that you want to apply the leather to. So now going back to our leather you can add start adding some more details. So let's turn off the noise for now. And then let's use. Let's turn. I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn a dynamic brush off and use a. You can use a damn standard, or I have my own that I like to use. And you can go in and add some detail like this around the stitching, so it looks like there's the stitch is being is pulling the leather. You can invert that and pull out some of the leather.
the scale looks a little bit much so let's open that up and turn it down just a little more so maybe something like 0.4 and hit OK and that looks a little better and you can continue to add some like some battle damage to it and once you're once you're happy with the way the model looks and you want to apply the noise turn the noise back on and then here you can hit apply to mesh and so I've noticed the first time you apply it usually looks a little soft that means you might need to add a subdivision so let's add a couple more so about six subdivisions we're going to turn the noise back on and hit apply so now that it's more of subdivision it takes a little longer so here you can see it was still a little soft and what you could do instead of constantly undoing you can just reapply the noise by turning it back on and it looks a little crunchy right now but as soon as I as I hit apply and it applies to the mesh it won't look as crunchy so there you can see the crunch went away and you've got some really nice leather so then you can come in here with your damn standard or my standard brush and add even more detail to it you could even choose to do in between the stitches at this point too okay so let's undo where we've applied the noise because we're gonna go in and add some more detailing to this let's create an alpha pattern brush so the easiest way to do that is to start off with the stitch brush so you can see down here B stitch basic click on that and this is a good starting point so you can see you draw across the surface and it makes some stitching so we're going to replace that alpha map though with our own decorative pattern so let's open up alpha and let's import our alpha brush that we've already created and now when we draw across you can see that it's creating this cool design we can rotate it till it's where we want it to be and this is also a good place to use uh, brush dynamics so that you can control the size across the whole model and I want it to point inward so let's go to Z sub so that it's pushing inward there you go and now let's rotate the model again so it's pointing in the right direction and let's add some blur to this so that as you can see here the edges are just a little too sharp and look a little unnatural so we're going to add some blur to it now let's adjust this value so that you don't get this sharp step in the map so there's several ways to do this you can use the surface which most of the time usually gives you really good results and in this case we need to fine tune it so we're going to go down to modify under the alpha tab and we're going to adjust this mid value let's try 50 and just see what happens I'm getting close so here you can see there's a little bit of an edge so let's try 51 and that edge is still there so let's try 49 so if you're not able to get it to be perfect it's completely okay we can easily smooth that out and then start drawing to get it started and it's good when you have to let go to let go right before it starts brushing the next step and then that way it gives me an idea where I need to start my next brush stroke so I can start right here and you can see it just kind of carries on from where it left off so drawing rotating the model so I'm not drawing all the way across I'm kind of just taking my time rotating the model 
drawing several steps at a time and then rotating the model again And here, all you have to do is quickly smooth out some of these weird edges. There we go. So now we've got our decorative pattern put into the model. So you can do that all the way across the model. You can smooth out these jaggeds in here. Now that you've got that created, you can hit the noise button and reapply the noise. And here you can see the final results of the stitch brush, the pattern brush, and the leather. I hope these tutorials were helpful, and thank you for watching.